The price of oil has fallen farther in Alberta than most have ever expected. In Fort McMurray, the city was hit harder than anywhere else, yet the regional municipality of Wood Buffalo is beginning to adjust to the low oil price. I think you, you just have to look around the community and see that uh, we've been hit hard by the price of oil, uh, but if you, we've always been a resilient community. Uh, we've seen this time and time again. This stretch may be a little bit longer, uh, but uh, the community always steps up in these times of need. We've seen the different reactions that happen in the community. The difference in this, this particular cycle is that it is going on far longer than what we've experienced before. I said recently that we're adjusting to a new normal. Uh, it's, it's a lifestyle change rather than a crash diet. We don't need to have the highest selling stores for every for out of all of Canada. We don't need to have lineups that are out the door. In a, in a way, we're adjusting to life as a normal community. And when we look at uh, the impacts on the ground, we see the same first reaction. We lose some of our workforce, but largely it's outside of the residents of Fort McMurray and Wood Buffalo. But this time, we've actually seen local residents having the impacts of uh, job transition, job loss, and even having to, to shift into different positions altogether. It's a normal community which can grow at a normal rate. Gone are the days of a 12% growth which caused spending concerns on projects that were unnecessary for a community this size like a downtown arena project. The downturn has been able to let the municipality readjust their budget and spending practices. It was a little out of the norm, but it was a good opportunity for us to readjust our spending uh, when the initial oil crash occurred uh, last year. Uh, and then when we went into the 2016 budget, uh, I think it, it opened our eyes to being a little bit more um, financially prudent, uh, financially responsible. This is a great period of reflection in terms of what do we anticipate the population projections might be going forward. I think they're going to be different. I think they're going to be lower than what they were before, but quite frankly, it's just going to put us in a normal community growth mode as opposed to that really aggressive and excessive one that was harder to manage. And if we do see the growth in this downtown core grow, uh, we'll move forward with those projects at, the, at that time. Same as some secondary roads to Parsons Creek or Saline Creek. Uh, those projects aren't needed right now. Uh, they may be at another time, so let's build when they're needed or slightly before they're needed rather than building for something that may not be plausible for the next 20 years. But when we go forward, what's important is that we have a sound financial strategy coming up for the 2017 projections and we'll deal with anything that we're able to through the course of the year. But we don't want to eliminate spending in the, in the community. We certainly want to have our projects out there available for our subcontractors to be able to bid on to sustain their workforces as we wait for a bit of a rebound in the economy. The town of Fort McMurray is quieter and with falling oil prices, it will still be business as usual. However, the community's wallet will be a little tighter and profit margins will not be as high. Job growth will decline and companies will need to adjust spending. Lifestyle will change and a rebound will happen. We just don't know when. And when the community does, it needs to be prepared. There's always the ups and there's always the downs. So I think this time, the down is definitely longer, lower for longer, they're calling it. Uh, but when we come up, I don't think it's going to be a rapid ascent to astronomical numbers again. I think we're going to have a real moderate pace of uh, uh, incline in that pricing. We're, we're ready to rebound when the rebound happens. Do I think we're going to go back to the levels that we saw in 2010 to 2012 and 13? No, and I don't think we need to get to that level. Let's get to the new normal, let's bounce back, let's be the resilient community that we are and we'll be in great shape. People are worried about the price of oil because jobs are at stake, but we must be prepared for the future and Fort McMurray has rebounded before in the 80s and in 2008. For Go Watching the Price of Oil, I'm Doug Roxburgh.